This video is gonna be on how to hardwire your internet in your entire house to either totally eliminate your Wi-Fi or to speed up your Wi-Fi. If you run everything on hardwire and just use your Wi-Fi for certain things, your Wi-Fi will be a lot faster. Okay, I'm gonna to try to explain this as easy as possible. When I first started learning this, I watched a lot of videos and a lot of them guys just confused me. It's really simple. They seem to do a lot of stuff that I don't really feel like they need to do. This is gonna be the most simple way to hardwire your entire house. First, you're gonna have your cable modem. You may be renting your cable modem from your cable company. Um, I bought my cable modem. Um, I'm gonna to try to link all this stuff down in the description because if you're renting this, you're probably paying $10 a month. Within a couple months, you could just buy your own and not keep paying the $10 a month. So you got your cable modem, and I have a switch box, and I have a Wi-Fi router. Now, I'm going to show you three different ways you can do this. The way I have it right now, I have a go, it goes from my cable modem. I have an Ethernet wire that comes out of that, and it goes into the back of my, or it goes into my Wi-Fi router. Like... This is where it goes in. And all these ports over here are going out. So then I have an ethernet wire coming out of my Wi-Fi router. And then that goes up into a switch box. And then that gives me 15 other ports that I can hardwire in my house. Now you can skip this part and just come out of the back of your Wi-Fi router and you can just go to four different places in your house. But I had to buy the switch box because I have more than four, you can see. All right, so that's one way. You go from your cable modem, ethernet wire comes down, goes to your Wi-Fi router, or you could just buy a router. It doesn't have to be a Wi-Fi router, but I like the Wi-Fi router because and sometimes when I have friends over, we'll turn the Wi-Fi off. Like, actually, it's on right now. I'm going to turn it off. There. Now my Wi-Fi is off. Okay, when, when you take that wire out of the back of your router, your Wi-Fi router, it comes out of the back, and it goes up into your switch box. This is one thing that was not in the directions. All these spots to plug in your ethernet wire are just numbered. And there's not one of these says it's the port that comes out of your router. You can plug this, this wire right here, or this wire right here. It goes down to my Wi-Fi router. It can pretty much get plugged into any port on here. You can, I could plug it in way over here. I could plug it in here. It does not matter just to help clarify that. So that's pretty simple. Now, I'll show you in a couple drawings the three different ways. Oh, and all three of these things have to get plugged in. So just remember that. You, better, you need to have an outlet near where all these are at. All right, you come from that switch box, and then I put all these little ethernet outlet boxes that's what i call them all around my house i have a video on how i mounted all these up and how i made all the ethernet wires so if you want to watch that video i have that outlet box that's a double one i have this single one and this is a nice way to do it because you can take the wires right from the back and just drill a whole floor if you want and bring the wires up in but then if something happens to your wire you got to you might want might have to replace the whole wire but this way if something happens to this wire i just unplug it and get a new wire and put a wire in now i'm going to show you the three different ways here's the first way if you do not buy a switch box and you just have your cable modem your cable comes in goes to your cable modem then you have your internet wire goes from the cable modem to your router and then you can take three or four, depending on how many spots you have in the back of your 
Wi-Fi router and go to three or four different rooms, just like that. Now that's probably the most simple way, unless you, if you wanna hardwire more rooms than three or four though, then you're gonna have to buy a switch box, just like this. So you have cable coming in your house, cable modem to the router, then from the router to the switch box, and then you just take ports out of that switch box and go to all your different rooms. Now I have all these wires run up in my drop ceiling in my basement, and then they come up in and go to them little boxes. And the boxes I have, I found that they're the easiest because I don't have to get inside my walls. Or you can do it this way. This is a little bit different. For some reason you have a, a real big house and you want to put cable everywhere. You could have your cable coming in, go into your cable modem, and from your cable modem to your router, and then you can run two wires out of the back of your Wi-Fi router to two different switches. You could put a switch in two different places of your house and then run from, say, you know, this is going to one end of your house, this is going to another end of your house, and then you can run wires from that to the different spots. But just don't forget, these switch boxes have to get plugged in. Now, so I'll, I'll put down in the description some small switch boxes and the large switch box that I wired up. All right, that was the quick way, on or the, the quickest, easiest way I found to hardwire your house. Now, if you want to totally eliminate all your Wi-Fi, you can also buy these ethernet adapters because some things you buy nowadays do not does not have a spot like this computer to plug in an ethernet wire. Now I bought, we bought this ethernet adapter. This one here is to plug into an iPhone. You can actually hardwire your phone if you want. The nice thing is your, if you definitely don't, if you don't want to get rid of your Wi-Fi, but you do buy one of these, your phone is really, really fast. And my kids buy, bring their little computers home from school sometimes and they don't have a spot to plug into. So I bought this little ethernet adapter and this will plug into a USB port and it works off of your wired ethernet. And you can use this for a Nintendo Switch. That's another thing they have that doesn't have a spot to plug into. So I'll put these down in the description also. Well, I hope that video helped clear some things up and I hope I helped you out. Put any questions down in the comments that you have and subscribe to my channel to help support me. Give me a thumbs up and God bless. Have a great day.